Hey guys, it's Core Ross and what was such news? So the news today is one of the answers developers gave during the Dev AMA on Reddit that I wanna look deeper into and do some speculation on. So first of all, the question was, any plans to bring more lore into the game? And the game's creative director said, the short answer is yes. The Singapore map that's coming in season three will be more story based. And we're looking also at events helping to tell the story of Siege in the future. So let's break down the Singapore map being more story based. So first of all, we're probably not gonna see much gameplay wise. It's not like we're gonna go into this map and there'll be enemy NPCs moving around or stuff like that but I could imagine a radio or TV being on or potentially interactive stuff that plays audio and also maybe things that are cued to the operator you're playing so you get a certain voice line from the character being played out when you're in a certain part of the map or something like that. Or maybe you look out the window and you can see other Rainbow Six operators doing some mission in another building nearby or just something that kind of plays into the story. Obviously as well, they launch a cartoon usually with the launch of a new season these days. So it could be the cartoon features the map and as a result, you see the aftermath. So maybe the cartoon ends with something getting blown up or a, you know, a gunfight happening and you end up seeing the remnants of that in the map when you're playing it. But either way, I'm not expecting much from the Singapore's story-based elements. I think it'll be bare bones and I don't really think I'll be that interested. But if we have some voice acting or something in it, that'll be kind of cool. So I could see some you know positives, but mostly... I'm not too fussed, but I do want a lot of story elements in Siege and I do want to see our characters interact with each other and stuff like that. Outside of actually cartoons and stuff, I want to see it as gameplay. Now, that's where we get onto what I am excited about and that is they're looking at events helping to tell the story of Siege in the future. So let's break down that part because that is 100% the most exciting thing for me. And I see two options here. One is, of course, that these days we have events that are very much outside of the scope of Rainbow Six and they're just purely there for fun. We kind of have some lore, obviously, with them, but they're self-contained lore. Well, if we end up getting an event where we're bad guys versus Rainbow, so we actually have a team of Rainbow operators up against a team of bad guys, whether it be terrorists or whatever, It'd be amazing to actually have something like that where we have game mode where kind of a little bit of a story plays out. And I can imagine some really good gameplay opportunities with this because you could have, say, PvP stuff where it'd be like, say, two rainbow operators up against eight bad guy players and you would be able to use your high-tech gadgets on rainbow to potentially defeat the bad guys. And I could see the map playing into that. So like if you brought, say, a Thermite, you could use some hard breach opportunities to go different pathways. Or you could bring Zero to go into the vents or something like that, Splinter Cell style. Or maybe you bring Thatcher to disable the lights and then you have night vision and the bad guys don't. Or just a variety of gameplay that shows the strength of the Rainbow Six operators against your traditional military bad guys then you obviously have the story elements play out, whether that be audio only, or maybe you just simply look out a window and you can see other rainbow operators doing their thing and kicking ass, or maybe going onto the cams, and one of the cams is actually a different building where you're watching a different team of rainbow operators take on some bad guys and just kind of getting a little bit of story elements and some cool stuff to check out. But obviously, what I really want is PvE. I actually want missions and potentially not handled like events because events come and they go imagine pve content that came in and it stayed and then next season another pve content comes in and it stays and eventually you end up with mission after mission of a story being built and told season after season that's what i'm kind of hoping this will lead to now in his reply he says this is something they want to bring to siege in the future now when he says future, I'm thinking next year. That's my guess. I would love to see some of this show up this year. Of course, it wasn't on the roadmap or anything like that. But they have hinted about uh, gameplay elements coming into the game. Um, it'd be a nice surprise if it came this year, but I'm expecting next year. The other thing is resources. I doubt that Rainbow Six these days is getting as much resources pushed towards it as it used to in the past when it was a far bigger game than it is now. But still, it's Ubisoft's probably best performing game. So they're still getting a decent chunk of resources. 
But I can only imagine that if they're going to bring in something like this, they're going to have to scale back events that we're currently getting. And what I would think would happen is if they are switching to doing some sort of story-based content, like he says here with events, I think we might start to see a lot of reuse of previous events. So we don't actually see new events for maybe a little while, and that's because behind their scenes, they're actually developing this story-based content that will then come in future seasons. And like I say, I'm hoping if it does and it's PvE, it ends up actually staying in the game permanently. It's harder to keep a PvP event going, uh, you know, once it's already passed. I could imagine, you know, keeping that game permanently, there's a good chance people will just stop playing that playlist eventually. Whereas if it's PvE and you jump in with your friends, your pre-made squad, I could see that working really well and building a cool little story out of it. But anyway, that is some news on story-based content, but also mainly speculation from me on what I think it might mean in the future. And of course, there's a lot of different paths they could take. And for me, the first major test is going to be the Singapore map, because if that comes out and it has some lower elements, but they're really underwhelming or they're really just not that interesting, then I'm going to be less hyped about anything else they're going to do in the future. Whereas if I look out the window on that Singapore map and I actually see the Rainbow Six operators in the you know building just over absolutely kicking ass against military you know bad guys and it looks cool and it looks like something out of you know the old Rainbow Six games and very much looks like a counterterrorism operation happening and maybe there's a few different variations of it you can see from the window that would be freaking cool but yeah we'll we'll see because I'm definitely not confident right now. But then let me know what your guesses are and give me your best ideas on what would be good to build the actual story. And of course, we know they're going mil more military now with the storyline, but they could still totally mess it up very, very easily. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.